Honey, it's the intellectual dark web. They're at it again. Hi, I'm Charles Chambers, and welcome to Breadcrumbs Investigates. Hopefully this video will reach Dave Rubin, Eric Weinstein, his brother Brett Weinstein, Jordan Peterson, and Turning Points USA. What's missing from the intellectual debate is getting rid of the Darwinian theory of evolution. This is a militant atheistic belief that is crippling our universities and science. Because the general question is, are we a happy accident that is just floating along in space, or were we created, do we have a purpose, and should we be focusing on that purpose of our creation? We really need to put away the Victorian era fairy tale that is evolution. Charles Darwin had great observations, but his conclusions were wrong. So the Breadcrumbs Project is staking its flag on properly dating the age of dinosaur fossils. Now, it's undeniable that dinosaurs are not millions of years old, but in fact are thousands of years old because they have radiocarbon material in them. You see, radiocarbon material can only last 50,000 years before its half-life is completely depleted. So, dinosaur fossils, if they have radiocarbon material in them, then they can only be thousands of years old and up to only 50,000 years old. You see, dinosaur fossils have soft tissue contained within them. Not all fossils do, but a lot of them are yielding soft tissue. And this soft tissue is what contains that radiocarbon material. And this radiocarbon material has been taken to labs, and the dates that are coming back are consistent. They are between 22,000 and 34,000 years old. This is information that is not widely disseminated because it thoroughly challenges and discredits the Darwinian theory of evolution. Also, the Breadcrumbs Project has established that dinosaur fossils are not at the geological level they should be because our surface of the earth is covered by space dust and regular biological dust to the tune of three to 10 feet of material every 10,000 years. This new material would cause dinosaur bones to be a mile and a half deep if they were at the minimum of 65 million years old. So, geologically speaking, they are not at the right level because we find dinosaur fossils right below the surface of the earth. As you see in these pictures of dinosaur fossil digs, they are not digging very deep at all. They are just roughly scratching the surface and finding these dinosaur bones. And if you go to the Badlands of America, or if you go to Madagascar or Africa, you find dinosaur fossils at the surface of the earth being deteriorated by surface conditions. So we clearly can see that dinosaur fossils are not millions of years old. This is a tragic lie that is being taught to our students and propagated through the university systems. I feel strongly that this lie should be challenged and has to stop. And we need to rightly date our dinosaur fossils and take a strong look at that theory of evolution because it really does not stand up to the scientific method. Dinosaur fossils are young. DNA and genome are far too complex to have created themselves. As a matter of fact, the dinosaur DNA that we are finding in those dinosaur fossils is just as modern as our DNA that we carry today in our bodies. So there hasn't been changes in DNA itself. It's just that the triggering of the code has been changed by whoever created us. Because you see, we are the product of an intelligent design and an intelligent designer. There are many, many, many theories that point to this case, but we have to dispel with that Darwinian theory of evolution because if we keep that mental cancer in our classrooms and in the scientific lab, then our species cannot truly move forward. We are stuck in a morass of confusion and ideological discussions that have no basis in truth or science. 
So please help the Breadcrumbs Project get the word out. Dinosaurs are thousands of years old and not millions of years old. Please, Eric Weinstein and Brett Weinstein, reach out to me. Let's have a conversation. And I would really like to be on your show, Dave Rubin. I have a wealth of material and experience that can go ahead and open up this debate on atheism and hopefully put it to bed once and for all. And the intellectual dark web can start to unite people with facts and science and great ideas that we can discuss. And we can dispel with silly notions and silly intellectual repartee and really get into deep, meaningful thinking. Really challenge ourselves because if we really embrace the idea that we are intelligently designed and intelligently executed, then we have to look forward to a great future. One that involves space travel, one that involves, one that involves geoforming our planets that are close to the sun right now. Because you see, in my thinking, Mars is 10% the size of the planet Earth and once had water covering its surface. Not just water, but active tides and tidal activity, much like the moon has tides on our planet. I truly think that Mars was Earth version 0.1. Earth is version 0.2, and it's gone through a lot of changes. I truly do not believe that we are the first species to roam the surface of the planet. If we look at our history, especially the Sumerian tablets, they speak of a long ancient culture that established our planet and inhabited it for hundreds of thousands of years. Our planet has a very complex, deep and interesting story to tell. We should let our planet tell us that story. Please give the Earth its First Amendment rights. Release it from the shackles of Darwinian evolution. Let's take a look at the science, archaeology, and geology that is before us and really start to tell the story of our planet, our people, our species, and our future. I'm Charles Chambers, and this is Breadcrumbs Investigates, where we take the crumbs of facts and clues to get to the whole loaf of the truth. We're the Breadcrumbs Project, and we'll be here looking, thinking, and bringing videos to you every week. So please hit the like button and the subscribe button and help us keep this message alive. Also, hit the bell button, because that bell button will let you know when the Breadcrumbs Project has put out a fresh video challenging your intellect and growing the conversation. Take care, thank you, and we'll see you again soon.